Thea Daniels with Raw Vlogcast, where we keep it real, authentic, and I get to talk to the coolest people in the world who are willing to share their passion. We are at the Waterfront Blues Festival in Portland. Prakash. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a wonderful experience of my life. Of your life? Yeah. yeah that speaks yeah. volumes. Yeah, it's, it's my first time being here at the biggest festival, one of the biggest festivals in the world, yeah. This guy plays the blues. How did you get turned on to the blues? Well, there is a little story about how I got the blues. You know, I was born in a field during the rainy season in a small village of Nepal. Uh, my place starts first electric bulb in 1983 and first motor car only in 1995. My father passed away at the age of 29, leaving my mother with three children to raise. What food we could manage to obtain was earned by my mother, who worked in their neighbor's fields. I went to public school, where instead of desk and benches, has mat, had mats made up straw. I was interested in music since I was uh, You know, I, I would play music by drumming against war gala and sing songs all day, what I hear on the radio. Uh, I feel that at the time, blues dream it as well. You know, when I passed grade 10, my sister gifted me a bicycle, but I wanted to play and learn guitar. Uh, no thanks sis, don't want the bike. <laughs> oh yeah, then uh, I didn't have money to buy a guitar. Mm. Uh, one day I traded my bicycle for a guitar. Uh, I that, bet there's a song in there somewhere about that. Uh, yeah, there is one song coming out based on my life story, how I got the blues there, upcoming city. Uh, my city will come out uh, in August maybe, uh, titled uh, 8000 Miles to the Crossroads. Well, I just finished recording at legendary Sam Phillips recording studio uh, in Memphis with um, Grammy winning producer Michael Freeman. Uh, we had a two days recording session. Yeah, you know, um, after uh, getting the guitar, uh, I just uh, blown away that yeah, and I started my career as a blues artist. Uh, yeah, you know, I would listen uh, country traditional blues styles. Yeah. So are you self-taught with the blues guitar? Uh, or yeah, for the blues guitar, I, th I think I'm self-taught, you know, uh, uh, I had a couple of lessons uh, with local music teacher uh, about their basic chords and music theory too, but uh, for the blues, I'm self-taught. So, okay, so the blues is self-taught, but you do have some musical study underneath your belt and been playing the blues there. And I hear you're touring here in the States. Yeah, you know, in Nepal, we don't have, like, you know, there are some rock blues bands. Mm -hmm. They call blues, but I don't know. They play rock, uh, like electric guitar, drums, and rock. Eric Clapton's, like, Jimi Hendrix number. I call them rock blues bands, but uh, I think there is no anybody playing country blues style or traditional blues style uh, besides me. Mm. <laughs> you're the only one. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, until now. Uh, then I have been playing and teaching blues for a long time, you know. Uh, I teach blues in these schools in Nepal, uh, then playing. But one sad thing is that uh, when I shifted to the country blues style, I didn't, yeah, and I haven't gotten any chance to play in pubs and bars in Nepal. But uh, I have some followers and then friends, fans in the United States, UK, Canada. Uh, Europe and I have featured in some of the great blues publications in the world uh, I have plenty of blues artist friends in here United States mm -hmm. and got a chance to touring uh, with my uh, good friends uh, blues artists like you know Keith Anderson from Rick Astrid and the Nightcats Oh, amazing blues artist uh, yes. yeah he's awesome then you know Johnny Bergen uh, uh, he's in West Coast. He's very, very good. Yeah. He's awesome too. Then T.J. Wheeler, blues jazz pioneer, Mr. T.J. Wheeler. I just finished with him in New Hampshire. Uh, yeah. Then one thing is that uh, my good friends, uh, the awesome people on the planet, like you know Lance Bowman and Cat McNeil, uh, helped me a lot. And see, they are just helping me doing my dreams come true. Yeah. It's wonderful experiences. There's something to be said about those dreams coming true, huh? Yeah, 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 it is. It's true. 
Now when you're playing out here and you're connecting with the audience, how does that feel? Yeah, it feels like, you know, I just have been home. Yeah, people just appreciate my music, love my music, and then I do love them. I love my blues people and the friends, yeah. That's, that's a very good connection and the soul connection, I say that. Who are you excited to see here at the uh, Blues Festival? And who have you enjoyed seeing so far? Yeah, I, I enjoy every band and the artists and acts there, but uh, there was like, you know, Rick Astrin and the Nightcast, uh, Last Lonely Boys, yeah. Yeah, today Buddy Guy, uh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so excited too. <laughs> Me oh, too. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. So the fact that you're having people that see in you your dreams coming true do you have any words that you kind of have learned and live by and would want to share with people about living in passion you know please uh, keep on doing things yeah, you know what you love what you want to do yeah if you love music please uh, help keep the blues alive playing and keep playing just keep playing yeah and all of you guys thank you so much last but not least how can we follow you and find what you do? Well, you know, uh, I have a website, prakashslim.com. Spell it. P-R-A-K-A-S-H-S-L-I-M.com. Prakashslim.com and Facebook profile, Prakashslim, and Facebook page to Prakashslim Blues. Dynamite. That way we can find out. Oh, are you on YouTube? Yeah, YouTube too. Yeah, I have some couple of videos, you know, uh, rough videos and the touring uh, uh, together with uh, Johnny, TJ. Uh, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. And keep your eye out for this guy. He's going to be playing somewhere near you. Thank you. Yes, thank Cheers. you so much.